You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. We need to talk about Sam. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped the Ket containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Hurting me goes against Sam's design. Because AI have never acted against their designs before. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. Your concern is noted, Doctor. Of course it has. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that. Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Need something? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Suvi, that woman on the Nexus, she's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow's got enough credits. It's the least I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. A real victory. Our Ark back at the Nexus. I'd almost given up hope. The Ket won't touch the Parchero again. The militia will see to that. It's horrible to think of Salarians in Ket hands, but at least our Pathfinder made it. Thank you, Ryder. I mean it truly. If you ever need a favor, just ask. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Pathfinder? 
The Moshai said you remember when the Ket arrived. My father's oldest friend was chosen to be Volt's ambassador to the Ket. The day he left, they embraced as brothers. All the Ket sent back was his badge, and a hollow recording I wasn't allowed to watch. I was too young to understand why everyone was scared, why my father mourned for months. Why kill an ambassador and risk retaliation? They told us it was retaliation for Havaral's attack on their envoy. Havaral received the same story, but in that one, we were the aggressors. We were so busy blaming each other. We were divided when the Ket launched their assault. They'll try the same with you. Be ready. I said you'd want to hear my experience with the cat, to learn from it. I do. Tell me about it. They had just arrived. I was on a civilian shuttle to vault when we received a message. The spaceport was on lockdown. Security concerns due to the cat, we were supposed to land on a nearby moon and wait for the all clear. Instead of landing, the shuttle captain turned back. Something felt wrong, he said. Later we learned it was a cat transmission to isolate us for capture. The captain had saved our lives. The enemy uses confusion to take advantage of the vulnerable. Many shuttles obeyed that false order. Those people were never seen again. Anything else you need, Suvi? Garland batteries. Gil's been muttering about those. You got it. I feel so out of place here. People keep staring at me. I can't tell if they're fascinated or afraid. Let's make sure they have no reason to be afraid. I'm on my best behavior. Pathfinder. Family is more important than new experiences. I don't regret staying close to home. Ryder. Ryder. Hey, kid. You have questions? Be quick. Thanks for your time. Yes, yes. Go. The Moshai said we should speak. You remember the cat's arrival. One of them came to our city on a vow to offer lavish gifts. We lined up along the street to watch the alien walk with our ambassador. As it passed, it stopped and knelt in front of me. I still dream of what it said. Young one, you are meant for greatness. The cat lured your people into a false friendship. It worked. A month later, our council disappeared. 
Our city was thrown into chaos. When the Ked came again, it was to conquer us at our weakest. They're cunning. They know what you desire and they offer it. Be careful. Rider. Hey, Ryder, I've got news about Kerry. Hakeem, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cells. She'd probably love a visit. Hey, Ryder. Hakim said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. A crowbar, some gum, a nudge from Sam, and I could get you out. I'm right here, hero. Trust me, this is safer than exile. 
You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. Imprisoning a vid maker for her work seems historic. Too bad no one recorded it. <laughs> they took my camera, but I was scribbling a few notes. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. We're getting the Solarian Ark settled in now. That's an entire wave of Arcs accounted for thanks to you. Plus outposts and... Now how do you find time for all this? I could help you manage your time better, if you like. Like I have time for that. Just so you know, our intel says the Archon's pissed. I'd warn your team. There's an Asari documentarian in your cells, Kiri Tavessa. Yes, word came down that her series was frightening people. We can't afford more unrest. But... I'm sorry, Ryder, but it was this or exile. At least this way she's safe. Now, anything else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Weekly injury report. Multiple casualties under heavy engagement. I've heard your reports. You're getting good intel. It's still like pulling teeth to confirm anything out here, but I'm getting by, thanks. Talk to you later, Davis. I'll be here. Waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Kesh, it's true I had to leave some Krogan behind. I'm sorry about that. You've already done your part for us. That's more than I can say for others. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Ket. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I'm grateful, Ryder, but I can't support your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture. 
But you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. Sarah. <laughs> Little brother. Bring it here. Man, it's good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. Well, I sure missed having you around. We've hit a few rough patches along the way. I'm sorry I wasn't there when Dad died. There's nothing anyone could have done. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'm glad you did. It gave me time to let it sink in. I'll miss him. But I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it, get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Not by choice. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? Just for once, take it easy, will you? There'll still be plenty of mountains left to climb when you wake up. Oh, better leave the tallest one for me. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine. But no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Will do. Hey. You're probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe, too? I'll pass. I've got enough on my plate. How's the job so far? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow, that all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. All uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this Met Bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. But yeah, before we went into stasis, I was missing my life. Or at least, the idea of it. What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad... It hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the Initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. My team was a special exoarchaeology unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. What about them? You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her, before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. 
He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. What do you remember about how they met? As Mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing. And failing. But she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Giant space city filled with every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing implants. It's what made her sick, though. People got all sorts of weird diseases from ESO exposure. Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it. And he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7. The things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him then. You should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sam's. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner, she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. And something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah. Only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Am I correct that it's within your power to vent the station's atmosphere and kill the organisms aboard? My programming would only permit that under the most extreme conditions. 
Exactly what would those conditions be? Why do you wish to know? No reason. Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. A moment. There is an added layer of security. What was it Gian Garson said? The code word is Fulcrum. That worked. This is the last memory your father encrypted, from the final planning stages of Hyperion's departure. Castus, thanks for calling. Not a lot of people still admit to knowing me. I owe you. Those were good days on the Citadel, Alec. I checked with my son, Garrus. He works there now, CSEC. And? He says the Council thinks Commander Shepard's story is bogus. Uh-huh. But? Privately, I've heard they're starting to wonder. This threat? They're called Reapers? Shepard's word for them. Something about a cycle. An extinction event that happens every 50,000 years, galaxy-wide. And supposedly the alarm clock's about to go off again. Unbelievable. I know. But according to Garrus, Shepard's as level-headed as they come. Takes after you. And it's heaven. So, if the Commander says these Reapers are coming, I don't want to be around to see them. Thanks, Castus. Take care. Yes? I checked around. There might be something to this. If there is a war, the scramble for resources will be on a scale we've never seen before. The chaos will be monumental. We should accelerate our timetable. Though we'll keep the reason quiet. No need to alarm anyone. But the arcs must be underway before any fighting starts. We can't get caught in the crossfire. Agreed. Is there something else? Years ago, you mentioned salvation for a lot of people. You knew this was coming. I knew something was coming. In theory. Shepard made it real. And now that you're right? We'll need a new home. We're going to be all that's left of civilization. Sam. Yes, Pathfinder? Track down my kids. Tell them their old man needs to talk. It's urgent. And how is Ellen? She remains in stasis. As you hoped, it has suspended the progress of her disease. Make sure her pod is on the Hyperion. Don't use her real name. I'll tell the kids when the time is right. <sighs> Sam, transfer Pathfinder access. Encrypt memories. <sighs> There's still hope for your mother. <sighs> Mom is here? Alive? Alec blocked all knowledge of this memory. I now recall his directive to put Ellen into stasis. He hoped it would halt further progress of her disease until a cure could be found. Sam, this is the best news I've heard in a long time. It is indeed cause for optimism. Although Alec did not want to raise hopes prematurely. This is the reason you were made Pathfinder, to see the process through. Where's mom now? Here on the Hyperion. Ellen is in a stasis pod under a false name. Elizabeth Riley. Now we know what Gian Garson meant. That something big spooked the benefactor. It was these Reapers. What do you know about them? A Spectre operative in the Milky Way, Commander Shepard, launched an investigation in 2183 into the existence of an ancient race known as Reapers. According to Shepard's information, the Reapers invade the Milky Way every 50,000 years to destroy any advanced organic life. Allegedly, this cycle has been occurring for millions of years. Shepard claimed the Reapers' return was imminent. That was over 600 years ago. Was Shepard right? Did the Reapers come back? Additional locks in your father's quarters have unlocked. Their implications are... troubling. Your father believed it prudent that you have this information, should anything happen to him. But why was Jin Garson murdered? Recall Garson's words about the Benefactor. Now they're moving a hundred thousand of us to Andromeda. I hope it's all for good, but I have my doubts. What does that mean? Who was, or is, the Benefactor? Unknown. 
So this was Dad's plan. Alec could not live with the thought of Ellen recovering, only to discover you had died. He sacrificed himself to ensure you and Sarah could one day be reunited with your mother. He was also concerned that what he knew about the Reapers and the Benefactor remained secret. He entrusted you with this knowledge. Additional logs with pertinent information are now unlocked in Alec's quarters. Got it. I need to go find Mom. My Liberator. Welcome. Thanks for your time. It would seem that is all I have to give. For now. Your father's personal logs. We've just arrived in Andromeda. Before the rest of the Hyperion wakes up, I've checked our comms for any signals from the Milky Way. Looks like sometime in 2186, everything went to hell. We got out just ahead of it. Commander Shepard was right. And so was our mysterious benefactor. Hello, Alec. This is Liara Tassoni, and the year is 2186. I don't know if you'll even receive this message, but we corresponded years ago. I remember you spoke about a plan to settle Andromeda. I don't know if your arcs made it out of the Milky Way, but... The worst has happened here. I'm with Commander Shepard and a brave crew. We're trying to build a weapon to turn the tide, but... I fear that the civilization you remember... The people of the Milky Way as you knew them... Could be gone forever. You may be all that's left. Please... Don't forget us. Keep us alive in your hearts. And tell your children of the wonders that once were. On behalf of the crew of the Normandy SR2, this is Dr. Liara Tassoni, signing off. Alliance personnel, please stand by for an emergency flash traffic message. This is a galaxy-wide alert for all human territories. Fleet Admiral Stephen Hackett has declared threat condition Saber 1. Enemy presence confirmed in Soul System. Earth under Reaper attack. I say again, Reaper attack is underway. Instructions to follow on coded channel Crimson Tacit. My God, sir. This is Paladin Command to all Turian units within range. Under catastrophic Reaper attack. Primark Fedorian is dead. Ground units are searching for the next in succession. We'll advise when everybody get down! Alec, this is Gian Garson. For the record, year 2185. It's about Fulcrum. I'm on the Nexus and we're going into stasis for the voyage. Looks like you're already asleep. I'm very uncomfortable with our benefactor and the fact that we still don't know who they are. And all these lives in our hands. I should have done something sooner. This is all very troubling, Alec. Let's talk as soon as you reach Andromeda. Jen, I got your message about Fulcrum. It's now 2819. We reached Andromeda, but have no sign of the Nexus. I have the same concerns as you. In all likelihood, the Milky Way... Well, something terrible happened there. At least the Benefactor spared us from that. But why keep hiding? Something's off. But we've got bigger problems at the moment. Habitat 7 may be a bust. Finding a home is all that matters now. I'm securing these Milky Way reports. This is the only copy, and I don't want it getting out. Whatever happened was 600 years ago. 
Someday we might break the news to everyone if the time's right. I guess we always knew there was no going back. find a home as former security are implicated in the mutiny. An investigation revealed Nexus security head Sloan Kelly played a role in the uprising and then killed dozens. Initiative authorities tracked the exiles, including Kelly, to Kadara, a desert planet history is made after the initiative established here in Tan and did not miss its first outpost. The exile court was made to come Pathfinder to clarify the report. Exiles are dangerous. Stay away from Kadara. I gave Prodromos the best start a Pathfinder could. But we can't predict everything. We just do our best. Twenty-eight nineteen. It's been a long nap. Why do I feel so crappy? The human body wasn't designed for this. Take it easy, and you'll get your bearings back. What's going on? Well, here's the pod you told me to find. What's so important about Elizabeth Riley? If you could have one person back in your life, who would it be? Um, Mom? No question there. Wait a minute. Elizabeth Riley? The initials. E-R. Are you saying... I saw Dad's last memory. E-R is Ellen Ryder. He brought her along. Sarah, it's Mom. Oh my God. How is this possible? Dad loved her that much. He wouldn't give up. Not even at the bitter end. For a man not given to rash action, his emotion drove his decisions in the end. This is amazing. Dad's stubborn streak finally paid off. I could hug him. And then scream at him. He should have told us about this. Dad was being Dad. I'm just glad she's still with us. We have to wake her up. That's inadvisable. Although Ellen is alive, reviving her would trigger the disease, which would prove fatal. I guess you're right. We don't want to mess around with that. Your father understood this would take time. What do you mean? Alec hoped that in Andromeda, we would discover new scientific insights that could provide answers. Our journeys in Helios have indeed provided valuable genetic knowledge, information that could lead to a cure. But patience is required. For the moment, enjoy the fact that she is still alive and that your accomplishments will one day save her life. Sam, we couldn't have come this far without you. Thanks. No gratitude is required. My original purpose was to ensure the survival of Ellen Ryder. It is a mission I hope the three of us will one day fulfill, together.
Back again? Well, I should let you rest up. Watch yourself out there. I can't keep saving your butt like this. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The Ket won't know which one is real. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest is up to you. I can handle it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. A risk comes with the job. Part of being a Pathfinder. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. You'll need to research the Ghost Storm technology first. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. Largely because Ket technology appears mimetic, taking designs from different sources to improve their own. It is a familiar pattern. Observe, conquer, incorporate. How many have they incorporated? How much of Andromeda's life has been suffocated or lost? I cannot speculate, Professor. We should anticipate the cat learning from and incorporating initiative technology as well. Downloading new scanner data. We talk a moment. Ah, there you are. I was wondering, 
when you found the Salarian Ark, was anything strange, out of place? You mean besides the exalted Krogan, the relics, and getting jabbed in the neck? Why are you asking? Because a few hours ago, we received this. Hello, Ryder. I don't think the Salarian Ark was captured by chance. If you want to know more, meet me at these coordinates. That's all. Do you think it's some sort of hoax? Now that I think about it, a Ket Armada just stumbling across the Salarian Ark seems a little convenient. Coincidences do happen, though when you put it like that... I'll put the coordinates for this meeting in the nav computer. I suppose there's no harm in making sure.
Hydroponics ended after next week. Showdown on Kadara, rivals vie for power on the Exile Fort. After a bitter fight with their rival outcasts, the Collective has now claimed control of Kadara. Outcast leader Sloan Kelly was killed by sniper fire when the Collective seized power. A ray of hope for sleep starved residents. Maintenance begins on malfunctioning sunlamps, causing unending daylight in some Nexus quarters. This is HNS. Hello there. Hi. As sleepers wake from stasis, the initiative urgently requires blood, tissue, and DNA donations. See a medic. Rider. Grab a seat. So, afterwards, the cat got twitchy. Took me a while to get back. The idea of Solarians figuring out exaltation must keep them up at night. Oh, I hope so. So you're finding out the cat's dirty exaltation secrets? That's the plan. Your star maps were helpful, by the way. You're welcome. Between us, charting the Scourge and Rider's vault data, the cat will run out of bolt holes. I'll send you our latest. I'll take a copy as well. Anything to expand the search grid. Still hunting down the stasis pods. And finding them. Having a partner AI makes one hell of a difference. I guess I need to train a successor. And figure out how to prepare them. Better to find your wings as you fly. Worked for us, didn't it? There's only one way to find out what kind of Pathfinder you are. <laughs> Guess so. In the meantime, we've a serious matter to deal with. The first vintage bottled in Andromeda. Sent as a gift. A well, good thing I brought my flask. Damn, that smells good. Since we've got a moment to ourselves, shall we toast? To our crews, our Sams, and each other. May we always find our path home. Ryder, my hero. We Solarians have a tough road ahead. It's hard to wake up to such loss. But we are not the first, just one of many. Is there anything on your mind? What is it you strive for? For you, I mean. For me? All I've ever wanted is clarity. I devote much of my time looking in the mirror, trying to understand myself. Some might find it narcissistic, but in knowing myself, I can be true in the moment, with little self-interrogation. Ultimately, 
The motivation is to live a life free of regret. I have come close thus far. Is Captain Hager doing well? Hager is training to be my successor, if or when the need arises. We lost so many of our leaders during our captivity. It's left several roles open to fill. Hager is a dedicated officer. The sky's the limit for him. He'd make a strong Pathfinder. You're not thinking of skipping out on us, are you? Of course not. But life is a balancing act, and tipping points lurk around every corner. The better prepared he is, the smoother the transition. How did you get involved with the initiative? My claim to fame in the Milky Way was that I found a way to restore the biodiversity of my homeworld. For decades we knew that the planet would soon be unable to sustain us, so I was something of a hero. My work caught your father's attention and he, how shall I say, laid on the charm to enlist me for the initiative. Oh yeah? Your father could be very charming when he wished. How are your people adjusting to life here? We are resilient. Our lifespan is short, so we have a built-in drive to maximize every minute. Many of us are getting to the business of bolstering our numbers and looking for opportunities to settle worlds. I have a few select teams looking into the Ket. The better we know the enemy, the more prepared we'll be for whatever they throw at us next. What can you tell me about my father? He was a friend. And what he shared with me was shared in confidence. But I can tell you, the Alec Rider he showed to the world was but a sliver of the whole. He felt that to lead, he must project utter confidence. With me, he shared his fears and doubts, or at least a few of them. I considered that a great compliment. Nice talking with you, Rika. I am at your disposal, Ryder. Sounds like our experience was a picnic compared to what the Solarians went through. Rika's determined to put an end to exaltation, and she'll have every bullet I can lend her. Good luck, Sarissa. On to glory, Ryder. Colonial Affairs hey, Ryder. Director Tan of your status. Good seeing you, Avidus. Stay safe out there. Hi, Ryder. Hi, Ryder. Hi, Ryder. Hi, Ryder. How are things going with Ark Lucinia? The Asari seem happy just to be alive. Ryder, I trust there are no hard feelings. As tempting as Meridian may be, caution must guide us. Director, it's my job as Pathfinder to take risks. Meridian is our chance to find a home. What else matters? Avoiding wholesale slaughter at the hands of the Ket, for one. That could happen anyway. It's worth the risk. The leadership disagrees. That's our final word. Did you have some other business? That's all. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. I see great things in our future. Good morning. Can I help or is it you evening? After a high-profile exile, Krogan 
are returning to the Nexus. The Krogan have been welcomed back into the initiative after officials accepted their push for equal status. Clan leader Nakmor Morda welcomes the support and resources. Fireworks in Cephesa has outsourced colonists, out engineer an Angaran outlaw, and destroy his ship in a daring rescue. This is HNS. Hello, Pathfinder. I don't care what she says. We can't work. All systems green. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder.
Beth, Can I, I help you with anything? A violent illness related to cherry-like fruit brought back from Habitat 7 as authorities map. Multiple passengers are still in quarantine. This is h &S. A worker was lost to space during repairs on the Nexus Hull. The victim's name has been withheld until next of kin in the Milky Way is notified. This is h &S. Pathfinder? Um, hello, Pathfinder. I filed a complaint with Tan. I heard Camden might try to The standoff in the next is common. Hello? You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian, then. I'll call a meeting immediately. <laughs> 